Welcome to the National Summit on Academe, Alumni, Industry, Government Collaboration. The title is Higher Education in the Industry 4.0. Loving God, we feel your divine presence here in this webinar. Bless all our speakers that they may become your mouthpiece in sharing progressive thoughts and opinions that will inspire our participants to work things out in applying learnings today in their workplaces for the good of all. As we continue with our journey in this summit, we see ourselves moving closer to the achievement of the objective we have set at the beginning, that is, to catalyze the transformation of the Philippine educational landscape in bridging the academic and industry gap. The fourth industrial revolution has changed the landscape of educational innovation. The exact impacts of such technologies on society and the planet is still unknown, but the fact that they will bring profound and rapid change seems all but certain. In the future, there will be a lot of changes in ways of teaching and learning, but the logic of education systems should be such that it is a system that conforms to the learner rather than the learner to the system. Sustainability at GLOBE is one of our practices at this point in time. The things that we do at the education sector contributes to the creation of a digital nation. It is widely known that the education sector is one of the most severely impacted by the pandemic. As a sector response, we supported the Department of Education in three key areas. First is to address the limited access to the internet. Second, we supported teachers with professional training to boost their confidence in delivering remote learning. And third, we helped address anxiety amongst teachers, students, and parents brought by the pandemic by providing mental wellness programs. As part of our commitment to the education sector, we recently launched GoLearn. GoLearn is a unified initiative that brings together products, programs, and services that will empower the whole learning ecosystem. It aims to deliver affordable connectivity for all, highly accessible platforms aligned with current learning setup, and safer learning environments to protect our educators and learners from online risks. So the most affected sector during the COVID-19 pandemic, especially during the lockdown, this was the private sector. It's not the higher, the big schools, especially the small and medium-sized private schools all over the country. So it's very unfortunate for us, even my institution, because we were struggling for four months from April to July before the opening of classes. So we tried our best what to do, especially from the financial assistance to our teachers, considering that they are just earning a little. The Employees Compensation Commission is an attached agency of the Department of Labor and Employment, and its administering agency is the Social Security System. And the Employees' Compensation Program helped a lot, especially from those affected teaching and non-teaching personnel because before they did not know that, that COVID-19 is covered with the Employees' Com Compensation Financial Assistance. Of course, we are struggling. I think this is very evident with the experiences that we have. We are still surviving. Of course, we need in order to survive, to sustain our existence, because the, the main purpose of education is nation building. We are partner of the government in nation building, and we hope that the, the government will continue to assist us, especially in facilitating our students to continue their studies amidst the pandemic. So now is the right time actually to capitalize on and look at this pandemic as an opportunity 
you know, to revolutionize and to change and put innovation into education. So EdTech is actually the process of integrating technology. So it's basically not replacing teachers, but it's really to build better experiences uh, in teaching and learning and hoping that the outcomes will be much better. Now, I think the next step is for them, and which is now being done, is to have limited face-to-face. -face. Honestly, we won't go back to 100% face-to-face. Eventually, we'll be doing hybrid. Now, let's take this opportunity in this pandemic not to revolutionize education to EdTech. And I, I think educators should be the prime mover here. The Industry 4.0 is not only about the advancement of technology. It is all about making humans at the center of the situation. Technology should be there in order to serve humanity. And so what is needed is still much collaboration among humans, among people. They should still learn how to empathize. It's also a time for the higher education institution to see the new role of liberal arts and humanities. It is the discipline of the liberal arts that will help us find meaning and deepen our understanding of a, uh, of a new situation of humanity wherein much is assisted by technology. Because IR 4.0 is not going away. Because that is the future. We have to be able to keep up with the advancement. So whether it is the laws, the enabling laws that we need to put out there for to mandate uh, digital tra transformation in the country, the use of digital technologies, the creation of new modalities of learning, the creation of new curriculum that will allow us to keep up with the technology and with the times. So my parting words are, let's please collaborate. We can't do it alone. I look at uh, the pandemic as a great reset. Um, I, I think this is a good time for us to, to start. Uh, especially, you know, we have a lot of time. There's no stopping after the everyone to be teachers, to be educators. In, in fact, it democratizes learning as well because I know the great teachers are, are also not just in the academy but also in the industry. Okay, all these things will not mean anything if in the end we will support humanity. Kaya nga, as the technology rises up and so the basic component of being human should also rise up, okay? And yan ang technology, pero ano ang technology magiging tool lang natin in order to enhance and improve our relationships, our relationships with one another. And of course, when I say humanity, it won't be long that we will discuss about who created humanity. Okay? Hindi mawawala sa ikang equation ng ating reality, ang presensya ng higher being, and that is God.